The next presentation sorry. is about VJ. It's entitled A Lock to the Door, and it's the number seven speech in the Competent Communicator Manual. VJ. Do you use a computer? Do you use a mobile device? Yes. yes, we all use it. Do you use a laptop? Yes, we all use that. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and guests. Five years ago, I went to Australia for official work. At that time, I had a laptop. I work in IT. Of course, you, will, you are a consultant, so you will have a laptop. I had a laptop. I took it with me, and I landed in Brisbane. And I went to the hotel room, connected to the internet, using the Wi-Fi connection there. The next moment, there was a ma malware. It is a virus in my laptop. It because as soon as you click the browser, it is going to somewhere you don't want to know. What does this incident tell you? We all use a computer. We all use a laptop. But we don't know the importance of securing aid. How are you going to say this? Secure the computer. My title for the speech is a lock to the door. A lock to the door. Why do you put a lock to your door? Do you know the reason why do you put a lock to your door? Because you want to prevent anybody going inside. Bad people don't want to go inside your, inside your home. That's for your home. You put your lock, an important preventive mechanism. You have a computer. It connects to the internet world. Do you put any lock to that? Mm -hmm. Not the lock I'm talking about. This is a logical lock. Two, protect your computer. You normally do three things. A preventive mechanism, a detective mechanism, and a corrective mechanism. Here, we will talk about Preventive mechanism. Prevention is always better than cure. So we are going to prevent. That's one of the reasons we put your lock to your door. You put your lock to prevent bad people to going in. First thing, I came up with an acronym today to, ease, to remember it easily for prevention. It's called SAFE. S-A-F-E. What's yes? System and updates. When you have a computer, laptop, or mobile device, you need to make sure you update this laptop or computer to the latest one. How can you do that? You know, I don't know how to do that. Yes. Do you update your computer every time? Do you know how to update your computer to the latest patches? No, we don't know because there is a recent survey from National Cybercrime Awareness, and they said 90% of the people in the United States don't know about cybercrime. No training was given, or they don't know. And this is one of the important things. We don't know about our safety of the online world. How are you going to make it safe? That, that's where I came up with this acronym. What is yes? Let's take the first letter, yes, system updates. You need to make sure you need to update your computer to the latest operating system patches. There is a great open source free tool available called, it's not open source, I think, but it is free. It is called Secure PSI, Personal Software 
investigator, what that tool does is you install it in your laptop and it monitors all your files and everything and it will tell you whether you are 100% safe with latest patches or not. If you are not updated, then it will tell you you are only 96% because these four softwares are not used. So do you use a Secunia PSI or any other tool to keep your system up to date? Anybody use, is using Secunia PSI or any, anything relevant software? Do you use that in your computer? Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Other people, let's start thinking about it. Because we take security of our laptop very easily. The second tool thing is A, the antivirus. A is for antivirus. It's not applicable for a Mac user, but it is generally applicable. It's not an antivirus. Anything bad happening in your laptop, you can easily find out. The third one is an F, the firewall, not the one you are thinking. The firewall. You know what's a firewall? It, it is kind of a protection between your internet and your, your home. So you need to put a firewall, and you need to make sure how it works. The last one is encryption. We encrypt our files, and then we keep it on a computer, and then if some bad people comes and look at those files, they will not be able to see it because it's encrypted. So these four preventive tools or ideas will really take a lot of difficulties for bad people to get access to your computer. Okay, I don't have anything in my computer. Why do I need to protect it? I, I hear most of the people who ask the same question. Why do I need to protect my computer? It's an open world. It's I have freedom. Yeah, but we all have freedom, especially in the United States. But there are people in the world who is ready to do exactly the opposite thing, right? We need to, that's why, prevent this from happening. So what are the things they can do, bad people too, on your computer? I want to give one example. It's an extreme example that I want, to, want you to like, understand. Once they can put some malware on your computer, and let's, let's say they can put some hundred computers, and they put a malware, and a remote bad guy can control this hundred computers without you knowing it. You will not know somebody else is controlling your computer. What all this, what, how will you know? That's why you need to do a lot of protective mechanisms to do that. You're locked to the door with these four safe mechanisms will really helpful and it is just a starting point. And you, once you start looking at this and then do more and more things, it is really will be a very safe place for you in the internet. Mr. Toastmaster.